question is about uh, uh, the balance between the visual effects and the practical setting, because I was wondering how much it was important uh, as a director to have a practical set and uh, having props uh, that uh, actors could really use it in this setting. Yeah, I think we were very fortunate uh, on Loki that it's you know it's a very grounded show. You know there there are things that you know there are um, offices and hallways and, and and structures that you can build, which ultimately helps the visual effects because and the actors both because you're 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 playing off of something that's real. Um, the you know visual effects I think in season two complement you know what we have built and or and what Kazra has designed and. The sets themselves are amazing. I mean, you 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 feel an inspiration from a beautiful set that you don't feel on a blue screen because as soon as you're in there, you're you're in the world of the TVA and you're feeling you know what it is to be a TVA agent in, within the giant you know Stark you know design of the of the sets. And about the inspiration, because there are a lot of sci-fi series that have uh, time travel, but and uh, also some similar elements of this season. So I was wondering if you have in mind something about uh, some classic uh, shows like I don't know Doctor Who or Quantum Leap or something like that. Yeah, it, Loki. It's you know I think with the multiverse, you know it's kind of it's interesting. It's kind of combined with the multiverse and it's combined with the with the time travel on top of that and. I think you know one of the things we had talked about in terms of figuring out the multiverse and the in the loom of time is it's the um, or the temporal loom I should say the uh, it's interesting with time travel shows there's always there's always like you know a certain set of rules you know it's like you know Terminator Back to the Future there's always you know something that you know goes that's science right you know you, you know it's like the Terminator you know you need you can send something through time and you're, you know, you're like, okay, it's going through time and it's got the little bubble and everything. And then, well, you know, nothing metal can you know, go through. It has to be covered by skin. So there's always this kind of like science fact and this ludicrous fact, you know, where you're like the back to the future, you know, you need to go to a certain speed, but then it's a DeLorean, you know, it's, it's, so it's, yeah, it's, you always need to kind of define something that the, the audience can latch onto, but then kind of come up with this preposterous bit of science that makes it all, you know, feasible. About uh, the new characters, obviously there is a movie that uh, steals the scenes in a way, also in the second episode. So I was wondering, how did you work uh, on the set uh, to find a balance between all these characters? Because obviously we would want to see Loki and uh, all, the, all the characters, but also there is uh, something new, so amazing and so funny. Yeah, it's hard. I mean, it's you, you know, you do want to, you know, showcase everyone's you know, talents and, and why you, you know, love them in the show. I think it's, you know, for us, it's, you know, again, it always goes back to story, you know, and drives the story forward. So, you know, we, we do our best to, you know, incorporate everyone, you know, with their talents going forward in the show and then bringing on someone like, you know, OB, you know, it, it was a wonderful character. And it was like the, it was the missing piece of, the knowledge of the TVA, you know, you had, you know, you know, Mobius is a TVA agent, you know, Eugene is kind of the, the office worker slash resident, you know, knows how everything works. Uh, but you needed someone that kind of, you know, with the new portion of the TVA have the understanding of like how everything works. And, and Key, you know, was amazing at, you know, reading through a lot of, you know, science -y, you know, the, the, the feasible nonsense science that I was just talking about. He's able to kind of just you know go through that, and and it makes you love him even more <laughs> because he's you know the nature of the character is he's excited about everything. He's excited about science and how it works, and you're, it's infectious, and you just respond to that. Thank you so much for your time. Thank, Thank you. you. Really appreciate it. Thank you.